Plant growth factors, aka biology. Plants respond to light because it's needed for photosynthesis. Gravity, so it will anchor in the soil, so the plant has some stability. And water for photosynthesis as well. Plant responses involve hormones such as IAA. And these you might know as GCSC, which are called like auxins. Well, IAA is a form of auxin. IAA. Well, cells in gravitropism. Actually, let's start with phototropism. Let's split the page in half. Okay. So we're going to split the page in half. Oh, that's a very, very poor line. We're going to do that again. Yes, we are. So we're going to split the page in half. This is going to have to do. And we're going to write P for phototropism and G that is a big G mm -hmm. for gravitropism. So in phototropism, IAA builds up in the tips of the plant. And IAA gathers on the shaded side of the plant. So let's draw the sun. So we have a little sun here. Did anyone else as a kid draw the sun in the little corner? I haven't grown out of that. But yeah, oh gosh, no. Let's erase that line. That just made it ugly. Anyway, so you have your your sun, and then we're gonna have our plant. So as you know, plants grow towards light. Alright, so tell cells in the tip produce IAA. And let's draw the little IAA. And draw this in red. IAA builds up in the shaded side of the plant. And in phototropism, I mean, yeah, in phototropism, the IAA. I don't know why it looks like that, it just does. Equals cell elongation. I'm just going to write E long because that, no. So yeah, cell elongation. And as the cell, as the plant is longer on one side than the other, it causes a little bend. As you can see, wait, let me get my pointer up. As you can see, this side of the plant is longer than this side of the plant and this is due to this IAA. Now let's go on to gravitropism which is different. So in gravitropism I'm gonna let's draw the soil because you do have soil in this. So the red is going to be our little soil and we're going to have our plant here and then we're going to have the roots. I'm not even going to lie to you lot, these roots I'm drawing, amazing. Okay, so now that we have our roots, in gravitropism, the cells are in the tip of the plant, like phototropism. And instead of increasing, well, causing cell elongation, they actually inhibit it. So let's write inhibit. In Hibbit growth. So as they inhibit growth, this causes a bend downwards. So like with the, let's draw a little smaller scale. Like with the phototropism, because they inhibit, 
at the bend, which I'm going to show with my pointer, at the bend here, we can see that this side is shorter than this side. So we know that IAA is accumulated on this side because it inhibits growth. And as the diagram shows, this side is shorter than the other side, which signifies that in gravitropism, the underside of the root is where IAA is concentrated. Now, this is all there is. Actually, that isn't all there is, but um, is that all there is? No, let's talk about the role of IAA. Well, um, IAA actually increases the plasticity of cell walls, which actually means that cell walls are actually able to stretch. And this is the reason why it causes cell elongation. And that's basically all there is for plant growth factors. The next video will be about reflex arc. So if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.